Hello everyone, welcome back to my video. In this video, I just kind of want to go uh, over an overview of the engine build for the Porsche, uh, the build and the engine itself. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So as I've said a million times on my channel, this is a Volkswagen 2.5. Uh, this is a five cylinder. It's more commonly known as the 07K because that's its code. Uh, some people might also call it the 2.5 FSI. I think that's the more technical name for it. And I'm pretty sure it is an FSI, and sorry if I'm wrong about that abbreviation, but I know it is 07K. So this is a dual overhead cam, four valve per cylinder layout, as with a lot of modern cars. Uh, and the block is iron, uh, and that's how Volkswagen has really always done it, up until modern times too. Uh, the latest five cylinder is the Audi one and the RS3, and that's still an iron block, but that also is turbocharged. So these engines come stock like okay for boost like you're not gonna crack the block or anything by putting boost in it because of the iron and it doesn't waste that much weight um and the head is cast aluminum um all of this work all the sandblasting and all the machine on the top and then the bottom which you can't see right now uh, that's all done by our local engine machine shop um it's about 10 minutes away from my house and he did all this in a few days uh, and he decked the block as well um, and cleaned out all the valves, rebuilt the valve train. And then, as for the exterior, all this I painted with VHT paint. I myself am pretty proud of the paint job. Um, here's some of the paint we used. This is for the block and the timing covers. This is a VHT titanium silver blue. Um, this is good for 650 Fahrenheit, so plenty. And then our clear coat which I used on the block and that black bracket on the side is good for 2000. And then the black is also just header paint, but with the clear coat, it has a bit a bigger shine. Uh, it's also good for 2000. And here's this bracket I'm talking about, all these uh, tensioners and the bracket itself, the big adapter thingy on the side for all those is all done in that header paint. For the internals, we use stock pistons, crankshaft connecting rods and cams. Uh, for the bottom end, we did rebuild all that. We put in fresh bearings, I know you can't see it right now, we put in fresh uh, bearings, main bearings and rod bearings. And then we have some aftermarket upgraded head bolts, uh, bearing, rod bearing bolts and or rod bolts, and then the main bolts as well. And then so far, we haven't put all the seals in yet. The head gasket, the crank seal, uh, this, this is done by VHT, these two are VHT, I mean not VHT, um, RBD, I think that's what it's called, the uh, gasket maker, uh, my dad did that part, I did not, I was busy painting during that, and he's much better at that stuff, I've never used that before, but all the seals around here have been replaced as well, and of course, this is not a reusable head gasket, so that had to be replaced either way. So to put this engine in the car, we're gonna be using Boost Brothers kit, and they make the kit for this swap. Uh, one part over here that will be replaced by, um, they're gonna, we're gonna send this in as a core, and then they have machined versions of these that they have cut down for a new bottom oil pan and for it to work in this car with this subframe. And the entire kit is around 6,500, and you can add on extra options like a dash and I think they sell a standalone ECU for it too but um I might be wrong on that but I know they sell a dash so it's about 6500 for everything you need to put it in the car um and that includes the motor mounts of course and anything you need to get it onto the subframe itself uh or the car and a car I should say and then the manifolds so the exhaust manifold is a spa manifold. This is not sold by Bruce Brothers, but we're getting the spa cast manifold for the turbo. And then the intake side of things, they do sell a cast, custom cast intake made for this application. And that'll get all of our needs taken away up here. They also give us a sick billet oil pan, boil, oil pan, valve cover, uh, that I'm thinking of uh, painting with this same paint, a metallic, orange so let me know in the comments if you think that's a good idea or not and i know there's more parts of it but that'll all get taken care of i'm just listing the ones that i remember off the top of my head kind of the major stuff and then a lot of the i guess you could say plumbing uh for the turbo 
that'll all be done aftermarket as well. Like I said earlier, this engine was pretty prepared for boost from the start because it's an iron block and it eventually evolved into 2.5 TFSI that's in the RS3. So this thing will have no problem running with all the stock internals and block. Um, so no upgrades were needed and I've seen on forums that these bottom ends stock are good for about 400 wheel horsepower and that's plenty. We only want to get about 350 out of this for now and uh, maybe in the future it will go up some more. But this is the engine. Uh, it's coming along a long way. It's been rebuilt all the way up now to about, I guess you could call this a almost a long block. I guess it's more of a short block right now. But um, it's coming along good and I'd say by this winter we can get it into the car. Um, there's still a lot. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. Uh, Boost Brothers does give all the bell housing stuff, um, all the stuff that you need to adapt this to the torque tube to get it back to the transaxle. So like the clutch, flywheel, um, bell housing, all that kind of stuff. But that's all. I just kind of wanted to give you guys an overview. Uh, this is kind of a boring video, just going off the facts. But uh, that's all for now. And soon... There'll be a lot more action with this engine, but thank you guys for watching and consider liking, subscribing to follow along with the 944 Safari journey.